He's more than just a dude with a sword. A guy like this ran up to me and he had a sword list. On oh, Kai. On some bleach shit. I'll be like, you would die. You think I'm going mono to mono to a nigga that's an avatar? But the ones he's clearing are over twice the size of your average Olympic hurdle. Imagine breaking up with your crazy ex-girlfriend. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. She's chasing you. And you're like, sorry, I gotta go. This like nigga jumps lies away. This guy can submerge his hands in boiling oil and not experience a single burn. He could probably slap the skin off someone's face. Say, yo, you got my money? So no, I don't have it right now. Imagine waking up thinking, I want to blast myself with a big cannonball and see if you can do it. And you actually do it? That's going to make me feel like I could join the DC Justice League. I might mess around and even become a Power Ranger. But nonetheless, we're watching a video about the only man who could survive a cannonball. Meet Frank Richards, the only man who could survive a cannonball shot to the stomach and not even break a sweat. But that's just one of the many superhumans I have hell? Like Kirby Roy, who's unable to feel pain. Norman Gary, who's one with the bees. And so much more. Freak first, there's a man who's way with words might leave you scratching your head. Dude, these so people are super man. Yeah. These are real Avengers. Yeah, this is John Sevier Austin, and his secret language can only be decoded if you hit the rewind button. Look at me. I am speaking backwards. See, John has a unique ability to speak and sing backwards. This guy's one of those people on a spectrum with superpowers. Record in reverse at five years old. Now pushing 55, John can not only think and visualize things backwards, but he can also quickly reverse words, sentences, and even full-on songs on the spot. So was the light skeck get sellish there for lack of boosts. Super califragilistic. What the hell? I mean, I can't even what? carry a tune the regular way. I can't even say it. I can't even say it I'm definitely thinking this guy's at least on a spectrum. Pretty sure there's some people who are on a spectrum that are like very, very smart. This guy is crazy. This guy's gifted. What the hell? This guy can say super califragilistic SBL adultious. This <clears> nigga <throat> is really atrocious. <clears throat> this girl with a huh, serotosis. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm gonna stop rapping. This guy's crazy though. Oh, no one that was. Oh, Dashing through the snow, and no one hurts open sleigh, over the fields to go, laughing all the way. But John isn't the only one with a unique set of skills. <laughs> no, that's actually crazy. crazy. No, that's Mr. Eat All can that's literally crazy. eat it all. And trust me, the dude lives up to his name. <laughs> what is he eating? How is that? <laughs> Yeah, the guy's oh. got godlike -like stomach acids that allow him to consume up to two pounds of metal per day. To the extent that throughout his lifetime, he reportedly ate everything from bicycles to grocery carts, TVs, computers, and even a pair of skis. God damn. I bet his toilet has seen some things. This nigga probably took the shit of death. How the hell are you consuming that? This guy's stomach acid is made out of the cosmic. This guy could probably eat the Milky Way. This guy could probably eat Silver Surfer. And how the hell do you even find out you can do this? He's just like, hey, Jimmy, you want some chicken wings? Nah, mom, I'm just gonna eat this bicycle. What the hell? How the hell did you figure out you can eat all this weird ass shit? That means you must be a weird ass kid. I know as a kid, though, you might play with marbles, you might play with coins, you might just put them in your mouth. To swallow them is absolutely insanity. Michelle took on an entire Cessna aircraft, which took him two whole years to consume. He Everyone ate a whole. That's for the fact that he died from natural causes. Now, Michelle might have had a few screws loose, but he's not the only one. He did not die from natural causes. man on the planet, Alexei Golubaraco. And to say he's a oh, that's not so weird. Of he looks nuts. You see, made out of rubber. circus with his mom as a kid, Alexei realized he wanted to dedicate his entire life to becoming a contortionist. And man, was he the right guy for the job? Ah, that looks weird, bro. He his body in all sorts of shapes and sizes that should be physically possible. If you guys are watching this without I mean, moving a body or something, tied into a knot. You guys Jesus. are weird. Bro's taking flexibility to new heights. Speaking of heights, we gotta talk about Stefan Holmes, because no one has as much air. Where do you find these people? I mean, there's oh. jumping hurdles, and then there's the black gravity. Not only that, but the ones he's clearing are over twice the size of your average Olympic hurdle. Yeah, that's a five foot eleven inch man jumping Yo. over things that are even taller than him. To put that in perspective, the legend LeBron James's <laughs> vertical is roughly forty four inches. So Damn. while those may not be able to dunk, he can at least out jump the king. Now let's see if he can shoot from the free throw line. Bro should have been the NBA. Bro should have been the Olympics jumping over hurdles. This guy got that bounce. Did your mom mate with a rabbit? How the hell you got these bunny hops like this? Imagine breaking up with your crazy ex-girlfriend. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. She's chasing you. And you're like, sorry, I gotta go. This nigga jumps lies away. I bet he probably did that before. It's Bob Mundin. Oh, I know this guy. He's the fastest gunslinger oh, to ever live. Oh, 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 See, Bob was born with fast some... twitching muscle fibers. Yeah, I heard this. I heard this. He's allowed this. him to master shooting to the point where he could hit targets at close range with Bam! perfect accuracy. Yeah, he's crazy. He's, 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 he's clean. He's clean. He's clean. Quick I heard about the guy. Seriously, in that amount of time, he can fire and hit two targets. Clint Eastwood, what? Eye. This guy's better than Clint yeah, Eastwood. Bob's quick. I got mixed Clint Eastwood look like him. See, that nigga's better than Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, what? Clint Eastwood is doing that guy's homework. Something about gunslinging that looks cool as hell. Nigga was like this. I'm slinging too, but it's not a gun. Ask your mom about it though. Thai kickboxer Lord Zilla Chupator is absolutely terrorizing the fighting league. See, this dude's an eight-time Muay Thai champion with moves so fast, he might as well be called Neo. Only instead of dodging live rounds, he's Ooh. dodging out. Ooh. 
Yeah, he's basically untouchable. Because over the past couple decades, he's managed to rack up multiple world titles in different bro. weight divisions. Not to mention 100 consecutive fights without a single loss. Now that's OP. But Lardzilla isn't the only one who's untouchable. Meet Isao Machi, a modern day samurai who's able oh. to slice a sweetie bullet clean in half. This is like not an old Power Ranger samurai. Well, I stop it. it. But I didn't see it. I saw a flash. The blade went by. Yeah, he's more than just a dude with a sword. A guy like this ran up to me and he had a sword list. Oh my god. Also, bleach shit. I'll do it like. You die! Cause if you're lucky, you might be able to slice one bullet. But you ain't slicing a hunt at your head. I'm not playing with these superhero ass niggas. I'm just a regular dude. You think I'm going mono to mono to a nigga that's a fucking avatar? Just to register the sound of the gun being fired. Yet this guy can process, react, and even swing his sword into position all oh, within the same time. His, his eyesight is crazy. I mean, even just to see the playback, you need to slow it down 250 times. 250! Cause that bullet was traveling at 200 miles per hour. Jesus. That's a BB gun. You really can bring a knife to a gunfight. It doesn't stop there. Because no, you can't. I would have thrown a rock on my shot, shit, though. Target after target. This guy proves he really is superhuman. Mm, and sure, mm. slashing anything that's hurtling towards you at high speed is a feat at all. But imagine overcoming an obstacle you can't even see. Yeah, for Eric. Is he blind? He doesn't have to imagine. He just does. Because this guy isn't just your typical rock climber. See, when Eric was four years old, he's he blind. This nigga got the hell of color. him completely blind by age 13. A diagnosis that, for most people, would be devastating. At the age of 13, so bro was grade eight, thinking you're about to go to high school, and like, I'm gonna see some crazy shit. You end up seeing nothing. That is a sad thing to hear for anybody. But instead of crying about it, letting that tragic incident define who he is, this guy said, I'm using my hands and some eyes because I've seen the world. I can't like this guy's golden. Does he have the same eyes as Charleston White? Probably. But listen, took that risk. He's missed to take that risk. I'll go alive like we won't take that trip. No obstacle he can't overcome. Seriously, his blindness can't even stop him from scaling freaking mountains. And get that AI crap out of here. Dude's living life on the edge. This guy could really use that to his advantage. But this nigga's probably a freaky ass nigga. I know he's blind, but he seems too active with his hands. So I feel like if he hanged out with some females, they would be like, oh, Brian, Brian? Yeah, 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 what happened, what happened? They touched my boobs. I definitely did not know. Nigga, you knew, nigga. I know your game, brother. I know your game. Keep your I mean, hands, keep your hands to yourself. With only four of his senses and no vision. And you know what's even crazier? He scaled up the tallest peaks in every continent. Jesus. Not to mention in 2001, Eric climbed more than 29,000 feet. I feel like it's easier way not to look at the, the height. Everest. Now I think about I think it. I think we can all agree, Eric's the king of climbing. But if you're yeah, the king for of the sure. Jungle, you'd welcome this guy as one of your own. Because he practically is. This is Kevin Richardson. Not only is he one with a pride, but he's also known around the world as the Lion Whisperer. Not gonna lie, that's pretty badass. Yeah, that's that crazy. Human connection with lions is so powerful. He can kick back with them without a fear in the world. Because if this were me, I'd be worried about becoming their next meal. And it doesn't stop there. Because it's. I know a YouTuber. I forgot his name. I play some of his video right now as you speak. Man, I could be a lion whisperer. All you gotta do, you just gotta raise the cup. If you raise the cup and you act exactly like the lion, they're gonna treat you exactly like their own. But that being said, obviously I'm not gonna say anyone can do it because a lot of people are scared of the wilderness. But nigga like me, I can do that shit. Don't ask me to do it though. You have to just take my word. For it. Play with them, chill with them, and ride them. I was wanted pet line. Oh, hold up, now that's crazy. But what's even crazier is how he remains so calm. I mean, you can't tell me he doesn't look like he's about to die. But no, I guess Richardson like whispered to the lions and told him it was playtime. Norman Gary also knows a little something about animal whispering. I can this guy can not do no insects. Angry bees. So I cannot do this, bro. No, 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 no. How are you himself the pheromone the queen bee uses, causing the bees to think he's the queen? Damn, Norman. I know you're chill like that. Yeah, yeah, this literally allows him to walk around town with a mantle of over a hundred thousand bees, and he can do all of this without even getting a single sting. Okay, remind me to never wage war against this guy. I think he's got me out never. This guy looks like the one beard guy that was trying to force everyone at Johnny Test to eat them honey bars. What's up with old niggas and bees? Y'all niggas just love little things just crawling on your neck. Is that the only sensation you can get? It may seem like you have a rack style dysfunction. So you need some bees? Superpower is ridiculous, but it's nothing compared to what we got coming up. One guy is able to pass millions of volts of electricity through his body, while another can survive a cannibal shot to the stomach. Yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that soon. But first, we gotta talk about a man who's literally immune to poisonous snake venom. See, for heck? 20 years, Tim Freed has injected himself with small doses of venom, building a tolerance so he's to immune the to it? deadliest snakes, all in the name of science. Yeah, he willingly offers himself to the most That's venomous he's snakes you can imagine. Notice and how there's no- 200 times. Cobras, mambas, vipers, and even the most dangerous snake on the planet, the black mamba. I'm talking two drops of venom can kill you kind of dangerous. Is that too much venom in your blood? What's wrong with him? But I don't believe so. I have millions and millions of antibodies to the black mamba. 
ain't gonna lie, this guy's a chosen one. This whole video, um, not to be racist, it was just full of white people doing some crazy things. Because look, think about it. If he's showing a black person jumping high, being able to take a punch, I feel like some of you people think it's less impressive. So what does that mean? Are we the superior race? Nah, but all jokes aside, are white people, what's wrong with you? I get it. You guys are getting bored with eating cornflakes with no sugar. So y'all just gotta just do some weird ass shit. Like, people in the comments, let me know. If you're white, do you guys think this is cool? Even if you could take the venom, why would you do it knowing that there's a chance that you could die immediately? This guy got murder on his mind. This nigga's love is suicide. Anti-venom in his veins. Because after all these years of training, he's still doing what he loves and staying alive in the process. Right now, I'm the only person in the world that can do what you just saw. But Tim's not the only one pushing his body to the limit. Because if you think snake bites are risky business, this next guy might shock you or himself. See, Bebo Struya has the superhuman ability to withstand million volt shocks, store energy, and even cook food with his bare hands. Yeah, I'll get to that in just a second. Nicknamed the human oh my battle, God. Bebo was born without sweat glands, causing his skin to be extremely dry. This allows him to withstand high voltage shocks that would be lethal to anyone else. Damn, Marvel may have found their next super villain. What? Or maybe he's a hero. Nigga, flame on. I know for a fact when this nigga loses an argument, his head is literally steaming. Caught this nigga Mr. Electric from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. So pun intended, this nigga's a hot head. <laughs> Give electric massages and light up a room all with a single touch. But Biba isn't the only one. That's with crazy though. That's actually crazy. Submerges hands in boiling oil and not experience a single burn or blister. Meet Khan Iron Hands Trakan, a street food chef from Thailand who takes cooking to sizzling new heights. Because while most people would dirty end up with ass hands, burns, his skin remains completely unharmed. You see, Khan's heat receptors work differently to everyone else's. Meaning, what might be extreme heat to us is nothing more than a little tingle for him. I don't feel any pain. It's just normal for me to do this. There's only a very tiny, tiny feeling of warmth. But it's not burning hot. Yeah, I think I'll stick to using pot holders while I'm cooking. I'd be what spreading the in hell? if I tried that. Unlike combat key how master does he... Roy, who's pain tolerant. First of all, this nigga look like he could do the one-inch punch. Second of all, he could probably slap the skin off someone's face. Imagine this nigga's hands dipped in hot oil. He say, yo, you got my money? So no, I don't have it right now. Bro, your whole face would have came off while I'm cooking. I'd be screaming in pain if I tried that. Unlike combat key master Kirby Roy, whose pain tolerance is so high, he's almost completely unaffected by physical harm. Yeah, the dude could take a blow to the most sensitive areas and not even flinch. This nigga's a freak. I wish I was kidding. You see, Roy's not Bro, you know what I would have done? I would have made that nigga spread his legs. I would have. Ding. Call me the ballerina because I would have gave his ass the nutcracker. Strikes to the neck and then brushing them off like nothing happened. And it doesn't get any more sensitive than... Wait. Hey, oh, he actually yes, does it? Yes, it does. Because to really kick things up a notch, he went as far as to hire MMA trained American gladiators to kick him in the balls as hard as they could. And man, they did He has a strap. He has a strap. He has a drop strap. He has a drop strap. Holy crap! Ooh. I don't care how tough I think I am. There's no way I'm doing that. That's why Kirby's the master. He knows how to look death in the face and smile, much like Frank Cannonball Richards. Because this dude doesn't fear anything. Not even a cannonball shot directly oh, at him. More than that he's the See, goal. in the 1920s, Kirby's began the to goal, his body bro. To be able to withstand heavy amounts of abuse. Uh, Literally, well, it didn't I, matter I how many people hit him or what people hit him with. It could be a punch, a sledgehammer, you name look it. Look at his iron belly ass nigga, bro. Even what it's going to probably eat anything. To stomach to see if that would weaken him, and it didn't. Hell, he even had the guts to let heavyweight champion Jack Dempsey take a swing at him. And you guessed it, not a scratch. Yeah, but in one of his craziest feats, Richards was shot by a 104 pound cannonball. And get this, he would do it twice a day during the peak of his career. What the? Frank's a tank. It doesn't get any more badass than that. So it seems to me that God has blessed you guys with superpowers. I just want to know that how the hell did y'all find out y'all could do these things? But even with y'all doing this, God has blessed me with a power and is caring about my life. But I don't give a damn about none of that shit. Nigga, I'm trying to stay on this earth as long as I can. But if you mess with the video, please social love to the kid. I'm gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna keep it going. I do be live on Twitch and also got Discord. Like, comment, subscribe if you mess with me. Show the love.